hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we will see how exactly we can perform some conditional operations on the delta table so in the last video i have shown you how exactly you can create update and override the delta table or append new records in that into the delta table but in this video the overall agenda is to update the records or to delete the records okay based on some conditions so let's go ahead i'll quickly explain few initial line initial commands which are kind of basics like we are adding the libraries required libraries in the second command if you see i have this file location as well as this delta table location okay so based on this file only i have created this delta table you can check my previous videos and this is how my delta table look like okay so now i wanted to perform some update operations in this delta table okay uh, let, let's take an example of this status field or magnitude or, or let's take an example of status field it's showing f right i wanted to update the value of f i mean instead of f i wanted to see the field or or something else right maybe any 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 text right so i wanted to update the values of this particular column status so let's see how exactly we can do that but before that before doing any update into the delta table we need the delta table object so how we can create a delta table object you can simply use delta table class and that has a method for path okay where you need to pass delta table location so if I go here, I already have a delta table location. Okay. And it needs one more command, one more, uh, you can say parameter, spark parameter. And that's it. You can store the object of delta table in some variable, let's say. Okay. Let's run it. And now you have the object of delta table now using this object you can call the operations or the functions like let's say update okay now i wanted to update now what exactly on which condition so i will use one oh, keyword called condition okay and what is my condition my condition is on status field okay so i'll write status Let's say we are status equal to F. Sorry, F. Okay. Now, now we have the condition with us. Now, when we find this condition, we need to set some values in the same column. Okay. And, and always remember this set attribute or set command will hold or uh, will require a dictionary so this is my key and then i'll give the value of this key okay so instead of f let's say i wanted to write fail okay and i think that's it yeah so let me explain you again so this is my condition where status is equal to f change this value status to fail instead of f so if you see this entire 100 records having F only. So let's run this command and see if it works. Okay. So it says it's done. Now let me rerun this command and see what is the value of it. Yeah. So now you can see I have updated the values of this particular column. Okay. With some values. In the same way, you can have some expressions as well. Let's say. Okay. Let's use the same delta table object again. And this time, instead of status, let's say I wanted to perform some arithmetic operations or something, any anything, okay? So when I say arithmetic, like let's say magnitude, okay? So I'll use this column this time. Let's say I'm saying where magnitude is equal to mm, six, okay? So let's, mark this value as six and it's a numeric value so i'll keep it like this like this way okay so when magnitude is equal to six i need to set 
this magnitude with some value or with some expression let's say not the hard coded value or something let's say i wanted to pass some uh, some expression let's say whatever value magnitude has it should append five more in it let's say okay okay and um, yeah i think two two is enough that's not, or you can add five that is okay it's up to you okay so let's append five on it and also and let's run it and see if it works so here i used expression because i'm doing some calculations okay now let's rerun this command again so if you see it added those values so initially it was just a six now we have added five more so it became 11 but the one, one more thing you have to you have noticed it's it's added the decimal values okay that we can handle it in another way but my only uh, point in this video is that this is how you can make the updates in your table okay now let's see the other command where we i wanted to delete some records okay so let me take some values mm, let's say wherever we have delta data value as 435 we wanted to de delete we have 100 records so i don't know how many values have uh, these many records but i can find out let me put it where data value equal to or this only it will work let's say 435 or something yeah so we have one value so i'll put the same condition i wanted to delete some this record okay so again i will use the same delta table object okay with uh, the current reference okay and i will say this is my delta table okay where i wanted to delete based on some condition and my condition is again you can write simply this condition over here yeah okay you need to pass this condition in a double quotes and i think this value needs to be in a single quotes that's it you are good to go now let's run it it's a numerical value right i think this will work yeah let's see okay so this ran now let's rerun this command i just comment it out and let's see how many records now we have in total yeah so if you see now we have only 99 records if i put this fair condition and run it it won't give me any records because this value is deleted so this is how we can perform update and delete operations into the delta table thank you i hope this video will help you thank you so much